How are we doing, everybody? We're actually in my living room, and I've decided to bring most of my Coleman collection in the living room. And it actually was not my idea, it was my mom's idea. So we're going to go over what I have in my collection, with the exception of my two burner stoves. I have some new additions, and uh, I've chosen to display them. 228F, March of 1970. That's one of the ones that got me started. Runs great. One that I got off of Marketplace, a 220E from August of 1955. All I did with that one was uh, oil the pump and uh, put a set of mantles on it. Runs great. I have a 200A from July of 1955. It's a single mantle. And really didn't take much to get it going. I serviced the pump, replaced the fuel, uh, fuel cap seal, cleaned out the fount, replaced the generator, new mantle. I got a globe for it off of eBay, and it runs great. We have a 200A, again a single mantle from June of 1956, and really didn't take much to get it going. Same as the um, 755 200A. Service the pump, replace the fuel cap gasket, cleaned out the fount, replaced the generator, new mantle and it lit right off. Have a 220E from January of 1959. Came from uh, one of the local antique places that I've found many lanterns at. And I replaced the fuel cap seal, serviced the pump, put a set of mantles on it, and it fired right off. A nice running 228F from August of 1965. And if we come on over to the shelves over here, I have a 502 single burner stove from January of 1966. Got it on eBay. It was advertised as for parts or not working. And it didn't take much to get it up and going. Service the pump, replace the fuel cap seal, and uh, it pretty much lit right off. We have a um, 200A from November of 1962. I actually got in a package deal with the um, 1955 200A and it's a great runner as I got it. And I also have this 220F from 5 of 66. It's one of the original three that I bought. And it's a great runner. And the 200A from June of 56 came from my buddy Dave in trade for one of my old chainsaws. So he also gave me this cool Coleman Lighting Products cardboard sign that I hung above the mantle. Now, in the middle between the 200 A's is going to be going a uh, 1976 Canadian 335 that I bought off of eBay. Should be here anywhere like three weeks to a month because it's coming from British Columbia. so. Give you guys an update on that one when it gets here. Thanks for watching.